So we've been waiting for a cable to come in so we can finish up the rest of our builds. This is an Ethernet Cat 6 cable, and I wasn't able to turn on the other streaming PC just because the cable needed to be longer and the connection and all that. I haven't even shaved, took a haircut. It's been a lot of days working on this because it takes it's time consuming for those of you that understand content and content creation. Plus the fact that we've been running around and taking care of a whole bunch of other things for the channel and a lot of other things that we're doing besides being outside at the same time, running around and trying to keep up with things that go on in the real world, right? And we all got, I got a story to tell anyway about something that happened during this week. But let's get to this. This is the cable, the Ethernet. And uh, this is what you want to get. You want to get Cat 6. Uh, Cat 5 is good. But I get this from a company called uh, Cables Matter. And I've been buying cables from them for quite some time. And even though I made videos stating that cables don't matter what kind of cable you buy, in this case, Cables Matter is the company. So they always got a strong little thing that they put here on the side of their taping. They, their seal is super strong. And I guess that's why I like them. I like uh, companies that take care of their packaging and that are concerned with the safety of what you're receiving. I've always been big on that. So once you get that open, and this one is, I think, a 16 foot that I got, or 14 feet, 14 feet yellow Cat6 Ethernet cable. And one thing that I notice, if you don't get a strong Ethernet cable or one that's pretty durable, the part where you put into the port of the ethernet it always breaks like right here at the it's like a little plastic piece here and it breaks off and then your cable winds up like either coming in and out it's kind of weird but to explain but those that buy cables understand it so cables matter is the company i'll put the link in the description to this one they got them in black red whatever color you want to get them i just figure i get at least one ethernet cable a different color from the rest so i can just tell easily like oh this is the one that goes to that pc you get it so with that being said i got other cables because we got another package of cables that matter and that are important to this build let's get to that so to be perfectly honest, I even forgot what this one is about and what I need it for. Like, and I just ordered them a few days ago. So I got to take it out to remember. There's a lot been going on. Oh, this is a, a four pin connector, but an extender. This is a, an extender to the four pin. So when you put fans like these, in your PC built and it has a four pin connector which excuse my hands bro <laughs> I've been getting hurt and all that built doing these builds so you see the four pin right there this is for the four pin connector it's four little holes in there so what you're doing with that cable Let's put that back over there real quick. What you're doing with this cable, with this extender, is if your motherboard has a four pin and you're trying to connect a fan in there, it's only going to take one fan. And there's not more, there's no more uh, slots, if you want to call them that, or different four pin connectors. There's only one, or you might have two. One is for the CPU and the other one is for the fans. Normally, that's just the way it goes. You got the CPU four or three pin, and then you just have one more left over that you could plug your fan to. And if you connect it, hoping that you have a fan hub where you could connect other fans, which is like five or six fans that you normally would need in an average case. Then if you don't have a hub, in this case, I have a hub. I have a few hubs back there. But uh, 
with that being said, I wanted to get this because there's times I want to connect other fans in there that have nothing to do with those hubs. I don't know if you get it, and they don't. They don't. Ha I don't have a hub for them. So what this does is you connect that into the four pin pop, and then you have four other that you could connect of those same kind of fans or what have you, right? Now, they have them, I guess, with more connectors, like probably with six, and it'd probably be suitable for you to do that because you're going to need more than four fans, basically, in your case. Uh, not really, because this one, you put three, and then you could put four, and then you could put the top one, you could convert into a cooler. Pop, if you understand what I mean, and then it has the liquid cooler situation going on. But this was the one that I bought because I had a few dollars left. And I was like, you know what? Let me just buy this cable to have it because there was times that I needed it and I remembered. And I said, let me just get it. And then these fans that are out that I have extra fans, I wanted just to connect them probably outside of my build. Like just to have around, like probably just right here on the top of my build, just have this fan spinning with RGB color because I'm an RGB type of guy. You know, so for those that don't like RGB and don't like colors or lights flashing in their setup, that's great. And, and kudos to you. You feel me? But I'm an RGB type of guy. So let's get to it. Let's plug these up. Let's plug this up. Ethernet cable. And let me show you the build and how it came out in these last few days that my beard was growing and my hair like crazy. 